bizarre difference in height. Yeah. What's going on? So this is Den, and I'm with uh, John and John. Big John and Little John, otherwise <laughs> as known as John Appleby and John Reed. Which of us is Big John and which is Little John? <laughs> well, it depends how we're measuring things, but uh, exactly. By the time we're done with this three-way, we should know. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, anyway, anyway. So, as is our sort of almost tradition now, I think, in a sense, share thoughts on what you think of the show so far and what you've gotten out of it. So we'll start with Little John, which is you next to me. <laughs> yeah, thanks for that. Um, well, it's a kind of only day one for me, because this is my first day here, but I mean, my initial... And that's because um, you didn't get out of bed, right? because I couldn't be bothered to get up right, yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I lay in bed all day, that's right, Des. Um, I, I was really impressed by Jim in the keynote, actually. Uh, I, Dennis looks like that. I, I, I kind of feel that we, we're in a really nice stage of SAP's development where there's a, a real massive potential in 2012. We've got mobile, which has finally come of age. We've got HANA, which whilst remaining perhaps a little bit technologically immature and a little bit immature from a go-to-market perspective, there are case studies, there are reference customers. The next version have, has 50 customers uh, queuing up to get in and use it. So th there's, a, there's a noise around that. There's a positive noise and things are headed in the right direction there. Mobile, I think, is really where it's at in 2012. Um, we're, I think we're going to see huge things. And SAP say cloud is the third dimension. And they're saying that they can do better. And I think that, that that's exactly true. Let me give a slightly grouchier take, <laughs> and then we'll get to the grouchiest of them all. Uh, I actually did think Snobby did a, a good job on his keynote, and I appreciated a by design customer was really the feature customer in the keynote. I thought that was cool. Um, in general, my my biggest concern is I'm wondering where SAP really stands with the investment and in commitment to on-demand and cloud. I, I like the story and I actually like the apps, but I just, I don't have the same warm and comfy feeling that I do about HANA as far as the level of commitment. So that's something that is kind of a lingering concern for me. And I also feel that while SAP is turning more attention to the ecosystem and especially smaller shops and developers, I feel there's some problems in that area that are pretty intractable, at least challenging if not, <laughs> deal breaking for SAP, so that those are some of my concerns, but it'll be interesting to see what we learn because we still have a day and a half to go. Dennis? Yeah, I think that, um, I mean, I came into this show with um, pretty low expectations, if truth be known, and I think a lot of people did. Um, but I, I was certainly, at least so far anyway, I'm, I'm satisfied with what I'm hearing around mobile, mobile developments. That, and I'm satisfied that they're moving at a pace which um, will work for the market provided that they accelerate certain things. I mean, concentration on uh, mobile development tied to SUP is fine for SAP for the moment. I'm not convinced that it's fine for the wider market. Uh, they need to open up a lot more. And the message seems to be getting through to others that that's, that's their intent. The question is, is on the timing. I mean, have you heard any more yourself, John, on that? On mobile? Yeah, on mobile and opening up a little bit more or? You know, it's something that we've been crusading for a while and yeah. Um, we know there's been movement around the licensing on the OnWire yep. platform where we're doing apps. For me, it's not enough. Right. Uh, it's not enough on the developer or ecosystem. They're making stands. I, I honestly, and my, my honest belief is they need to up that, not you know from a from a three to a ten. Right. And this it needs to be the the strategy, which is sure. open it up, let all those hundred thousand mobile developers that are out there already building apps. All of those people, let them come and build. Yep. Let, let them come and build and make this platform stable. I thought the dilemmas SAP is facing were encapsulated pretty well in the train race jury competition that we were in with the gateway apps. And I was more convinced than ever about the gateway really can empower and affect how development works in the ecosystem by making services so much easier to consume and work with and create non-SAP looking UIs and really neat applications. But on the other hand, when you brought up now they need to solve the licensing issues. The whole room broke out in spontaneous applause. And I think that sort of describes this sort of interesting dilemma that SAP's facing around really making some real changes, but then there's this undertow of how to solve from a license perspective for both customers and part and developers. Yeah, and I think to add to that, I mean, uh, you know, somebody senior told us recently that they managed to get an Apple app running in what two days or something like that. Yeah, and, that's, yeah, yeah. and that's what it's like. It costs two days, and if you want to put it on the App Store, it costs a hundred bucks. Right. 
I'm not sure. Not saying SAP has to go quite that far. We're talking about enterprise software. It can be yeah, yeah. various entry can be a little higher than that. But it, but it can't be where it is now. It can't be signing up for services, paying thousands of dollars of years to be in a program. Complexities of authoring that stuff is um, and the licensing around that is all barriers to entry, which which is just creating an artificial barrier. Dennis, I had a question for you on a, on a separate topic. So, like six months ago, we were smarting a little bit from the departure of John Wookie and cloud. We're seeing perhaps a little bit less emphasis on cloud in this conference. Do you think those things are related? Uh, today's trick question, eh? <laughs> well, of course they're related. I mean, Wookie was the guy who was running it, right? But having said that, that you know, they're, they're talking about more on-demand applications. Uh, we haven't seen too much evidence of that, I have to say, other than, what, sales on demand? They're previewing some stuff on talent, they're previewing some stuff elsewhere, but you know, I am a little bit concerned that they seem to have backpedaled a little bit, but then, you know, I spoke with, um, with Reiner Zinno on the whole business by design thing, and, you know, they're, they're making some big technology changes that will, will absolutely help them get, for example, adoption. They need adoption, right? Yeah. You know, and running on Silverlight, for example, not, never a great idea. Sorry, Microsoft, never a good idea. Um, so they're moving to HTML5, right? Yeah. That's going to take a year. Will they get to the 1,000 customers? They hope so, although, again, Reiner is a little bit pessimistic about it, and it's notable that Bill McDermott hasn't talked about it uh, for the last quarter, so that sounds as though that one's in trouble slightly. But, yeah, I mean, cloud seems to be something that is not quite as um, as advanced in the agenda as, 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 as other things. I don't know about you. What do you reckon? I guess my, my feeling is that they saw the short-term yeah. Revenue opportunity from uh, from mobile was probably the greatest yeah. mid midterm revenue from in memory, and I guess they see cloud as a long term play. Yeah. I, I guess to some extent they see the Salesforce and Workday battles as skirmishes, which they may have lost, mm -hmm. and, and they're playing a longer game. That, that's my sense. Um, well, I had the right. I don't know, John. What do you think? I'm really torn about it because I really like the design thinking approaches that are going into the line of business apps they're developing but I, I struggle with what I feel like is a snail's pace of information and, and functionality uh, enhancements in these products. Part of the problem, I think, is an SDK-related problem, which is make it possible for partners to help build this stuff out. It will accelerate a lot faster. One of the things that the BYD leadership told me yesterday was that they will make the line of business SDK available with the next release in March by design. That's the kind of thing that's going to make some differences, but I feel like we're kind of waiting for stuff a lot of times with SAP, right? Like, uh, it's not now, but it's three months from now. So I hope it is three months from now, and I hope it's there. Um, maybe, I guess, these are the exact same questions we're about to pose to Vishal Sik, so we should probably get our asses over there. <laughs> yeah, let's call it a wrap. Thanks, Dan. That's a good one. Thanks, guys. Cheers.